Hi guys, here we have a uh, Del Vostro 1520 which is developed to fault. Um, when you power it on, uh, the number light and the caps lock, I think it is, lights flash. Let's just give it a close up. The unit will not power on, it won't go to BIOS, just these lights flashing here. That's just the solid cap lock, number lock and uh, flashing scroll lock and like I said the unit will not power on at all so I'm gonna have a look at this first thing I'm gonna do is uh, hold the button down for about 15 seconds and the unit should power off and once that's powered off what I'm gonna do is remove the power cord which I have done and remove the uh, battery from the underside And then once that's removed, what we need to get inside the unit. Um, I've made a hole at the back of this one. Obviously, you're not going to do um, you're not going to do this to a customer's machine. Um, it's just that I've pulled this apart a couple of times. So all I've done is heated the tin can and put it over this section, which I, where I know the battery is. So what I've got to do is remove the battery. You, normally you need to dismantle it to do this and um, all I'm going to do is once again hold the power button down for about 15 seconds just to deplete any power left and then I'm going to pop, pop the battery back in the coin battery pop the coin battery back in as you can see here Uh, this is my own unit, that's why I'm able to make a hole in the back of it like this. And I'll just use the remaining to cover it up with a blank. So all I'm going to do now is put the battery back on. You can put the power mains back in if you want to also. And uh, when I turn the unit on here, power on. And as you can see, it's gone straight to the Dell screen, which if you press F2 here, now I'm able to access the BIOS by pressing F2, you get close up here. Um, the problem is with the USB, so what I'm going to do is set the time and date in here, and then I'm going to go down to um, the USB external ports, outside ports, and disable it. I've managed to ascertain that that's what the problem is one of the ports is faulty so I've disabled the USB ports the external USB ports and then I'm just going to press F10 to save the changes I've just made and confirm with yes and then enter and uh, as you can see the uh, unit is rebooting again And now you can see Windows is loading. Um, the problem is, as I've said before, there's a problem with one of the USB ports. It's not the memory, as I've seen some um, blogs. Um, not on this one anyway. The problem is with the actual USB port. So at the moment, it'll charge your phone, but uh, it won't read any USBs that are, um, are plugged in. So like I said, it'll 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 charge your whatever device it, that's rechargeable. If you plug that in, it'll charge it, but it will not read data at all. But um, as you can see, I've got the machine running. Thanks for watching once again, and please subscribe.